All right, ladies and gentlemen. This question here is asking you to find the volume of the doghouse. And like I said, I got people, well, wait a second. Our formula sheet doesn't have the volume of a doghouse. You're right. A doghouse is composed of two shapes that we did do, that we did practice. One of them is a cube, and the other one up here is the triangular prism. So your job is to find the volume of each of these. So let's start with the easy one first. Let's talk about the cube. The cube, like the rectangular prism, can be found by taking the length times the width times the height. Now, I hope you all recognize that what makes a cube special is that the length and the width and the height are all the same. And then two times two times two is going to make eight, not six. Some of you put down six, that is not correct. Two times two times two makes eight. So this is the volume of this guy right there. Now what I need to do is calculate the volume of the triangular prism on the top. So consult your notes on the triangular prism. It's not real difficult. To find the volume of a triangular prism, all you have to do is first calculate the area of the triangular face. Now remember, they have two triangular faces. In this case, it's front and back, and they're exactly the same. The triangles are exactly the same. So all I need to do is calculate the area of one of them. So to do this, it's actually quite a simple process. The math formula associated goes like this. It's one half of the base times the height. This means one half times the base times the height. Well, if I take my numbers, the base of my triangular triangle part right here is two. Because remember, this guy and the guy on the right above it is going to be the same. Why? Because that's a cube. So now half of the base is one and one times the height. Now the height of this guy, the height of this guy is the distance from there to there, which is from there to there. Well, if I know already that from there to there is gonna be two, then this guy has to be 1.2. So now all I gotta do is take one times 1.2 and yes, you guessed it, 1.2. That's the area of the triangle only, the triangle only. Now, once you find the area of a triangle, the next step in finding the volume of every triangular prism is you need to ask yourself, how far apart are the triangles? How far apart are the triangles? How, how far apart is the front triangle from the back triangle? And that answers two. So then all you got to do is multiply that by it. So you take the area of either the triangle in the front or in the back, in this example, because they're, they're exactly the same. And once you find the area of the triangle, then what you need to do next is you need to multiply that number by how far the triangles are apart. Some of you might have looked at it and said, oh, wait a second. Isn't this kind of like finding the volume of a rectangular prism, length times width times height? But since it's only half of one, we're dividing it by two. And that answer is absolutely positively yes. Yes, 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 yes. That is exactly right. If you take the length two times the width two times the height 1.2 and then take half of that, you still get 2.4. So when you're all said and done, what do you have to do? You have to take the volume of the cube and you have to add it to the volume of the triangular prism and together they combine together to make 10.4. And this is feet cubed because that's what volume is always labeled as. So that's that. That's how you find the volume of a compound shape. I hope you found this both helpful and informative.